Hello again, basketball fans. Welcome to High School Hoops Weekly. I am Rachel George, joined by uh, Tim Hauer. We are out here at uh, Trask Coliseum, final day of the Leon Brogdon Holiday Tournament, about to get underway. Uh, but we're going to take a look back at last week, the Time Warner Cable Holiday Classic, the Christmas tournament for the girls. And we'll get started with Ashley. Certainly a disappointing tournament for them. Uh, finish in sixth place, lose to Havelock on the first day after being up then come in and beat uh, beat Hoggard on the second day, but it'll lose to Laney by three on the, on the third day. And this is not what Coach Adrian Gale wants. She clearly has the most experienced team in the county coming back, but uh, you know not able to finish out those close games like they should have. Yeah, I think that, that loss to uh, Havelock really hurt them in the last two games. I just didn't see the same fire yeah. in, in them, and I felt like you know going into that loser's bracket, if you lose that first day, it's really hard to motivate yourself to come back because the best you can finish is fifth. So winning that first day is huge, and, and they played really well against Havelock. They just couldn't hold the lead, and you know they came back and, and beat Hoggard. Mackenzie Edwards was in foul trouble that whole game, so really you take her out of the equation. Hoggard doesn't have much, and then Laney. I just really couldn't get anything going offensively against Laney, so it was really a, a disappointing, a disappointing uh, tournament for them. Well, the the four county teams all lost on the first day, so that puts them all um, on the bottom half of the standings. Laney finished fifth, Ashley sixth. Hoggard 7th, New Hanover 8th. What what else do you have to report from that uh, couple days of basketball? Uh, the conference, you know, we've, we've talked about this the last few years, how the parity is. I think this year more than ever, it's, all four teams can beat anybody else on, on any given day. And I feel like the conference champion may have three or four losses this year just because yeah. of, of the way the conference pans out. and Everybody's got a little bit back. Hanover's obviously got Morgan King. Uh, Hoggard's got Mackenzie Edwards, Laney's got Cabrina Truesdale and a couple other pieces. Like you said, Ashley's got the most, and you know, if I had to pick a favorite, it would probably be them, but I, I, I don't feel like I'm at liberty to pick a favorite right now because of how close all four teams are. Yeah, absolutely. Like you just mentioned, I would, you know, Danielle Bongiorno for Hoggard goes out for the year with an ACL tear, and for my money, she would have been the best player in this conference had she played this year, but she will miss her senior year. So you've got to think Morgan King is the best player don't know how much she has around her and really I think it, you're right it comes down to Ashley if those if they can start playing with a little bit more maturity for their age they can be a favorite but right now it's, it's a toss-up to see who does it well here at the Brogdon some interesting things have happened I know you talked to coach Brett Queen about the loss of Stillman White what happened what does that mean for the Vikings well he hurt his uh, knee last week in, in a tournament out at Myrtle Beach they were in the championship game and he injured it early Brett tried to bring him back late in the game and just really couldn't do anything with it. I, I know he had an MRI the other day, and I think they were still awaiting the results there. But he's hopeful that he'll be back, um, you know, come the new year. But without him, they're really struggling. Um, you know, they've got Drew Combs, who's their point guard, but Stillman's the, the go-to player in key situations. And in both of the games that they've lost so far, um, they've come down to the fourth quarter, and they just need that person to take the ball and just go to the basket or, or hit a key jump shot and you know, Lawson Aarons is a good shooter, but I don't think he really has that mentality of, you know, give me the ball, I really want it. Um, so it's really been a disappointing loss for them. I, I think when he comes back, you'll see a whole new team, though. Well, and, and the thing about Stillman, I know he's only a junior, but he started all last year with four other seniors. The Vikings lose nine players total from last year's squad, so they're virtually starting over. And to lose your most experienced player is what hurts you. Yesterday in the second round, the Vikings played uh, Pender, and you know we said 1A team coming into this tournament, how can they do, even though it's a good 1A team? Addison Spruill deserves a little bit of recognition. He single-handedly outscored the Vikings in the second half of that game. Pender went on to win by 10. He had ended up with 33, but had 24 in the second half, while Hoggard only had 19. So certainly I think Pender has been a pleasant surprise with how well they've done in this tournament so far. Yeah, and I think everybody knew coming in that they were going to be able to compete with some of these teams. They'd already beaten Laney twice coming into today. They play them again today. Um, so, you know, obviously they can compete with the, with the bigger teams. And with the size that they have at the 1A level, there's not going to be any teams really in the 1A that I think can, can match that. They've got Keenan Pittman, 6'8", Sproul 6'4". They've got a couple other kids that are over six feet tall. So, you know, if they if they put everything together, you know, definitely another run towards the East Finals and maybe even further for them. Yeah. 
We said it at the beginning of the year, if they can get a suitable guard who can score, uh, they'll be all set, so we'll see. Well, the final round is about to get underway today. Hoggard in the seventh place game versus Annapolis Area Christian School. Uh, in the fifth place game, we have Laney and Pender. In third place, Ashley New Hanover. And in the championship, we have North Mech and Westover. So we will be back next week, obviously, with highlights of how everything finishes up here. But for this week, for Tim Howard and myself, Rachel George, this has been High School Hoops Weekly on StarNewsOnline.com.